Hey mom, <laughs> welcome to Vietnam. I'm going on my first visa run here at the airport and a visa run basically means in Bali they give you generally you can do different visas but the main one is a 30-day visa that you can extend an additional 30 days and after that 60 days is up you have to leave the country and then come back and once again you can get a 30-day visa that extends to 60. So I'm here for my first visa run. Um, I think it's a rite of passage for those that stay in Bali longer than just the, the 30 days. And I'm excited to go explore another country. So we're going to Vietnam and I don't have to go alone because right at the same time I'm doing my visa run, Lisa is. You can see her walking. So super excited and uh, here we go. Can you say hi, mom? Uh, hi, mom. Uh, <laughs> I'm Tong from Vietnam. Oh, welcome to Vietnam. <laughs> nice to meet you. Here I am in Ha Long Bay. Beautiful islands of Vietnam in the background. So I'm here exploring. I have never stepped foot in Vietnam till yesterday and I have no idea what to expect. Let's go explore. So I just learned my first two Vietnamese words. Xin chào means hello. And Khen Vun means thank you. So let's see, I could be butchering those pronunciations, but See how it goes. Xin chào. I think that went well. So I'm admittedly a little bit lost right now. I'm not exactly sure where I am, but I did stumble across just crazy beauty. I mean, it's like these little outcroppings of, I don't even know how these sheer cliff islands form, but they're just all the way back and deep. So first impressions walking around, it's unique, it's a unique place I've ever been. There's obviously a totally new language. Um, it's empty and I'm in these busy streets and there are people out, but not much. Even the, the cars, there's not much traffic. So it has a strange feeling of being empty. So I made my way to the Sun World Ha Long Tourist Complex. First, I explored the Buddhist temple area. So I've come across this beautiful Buddhist temple. Um, this really surprised me. It's pretty empty. It's, it's just quiet. 
gorgeous. They have these incredible statues of monks, Buddha, meditating. And it's empty. I mean, it's so quiet and pristine in here. Like everything else here in how long, I don't understand where people are. I next traveled along the complex towards the Ferris wheel. You can see it in the distance. I passed over and through multiple bridges and gardens. until I finally arrived. Here I am at the top of the Ferris wheel. Basically, whole city of Hafeng in my view right now. It's pretty awesome. It's a little bit scary. <laughs> I don't understand how anybody would build this and get this high up in the air, but it's just, oh man, it's stunning from here. I then made my way back across the bay on the Ocean Station tram. So here I am at the end of my long walking day. I walked a ton today. It was very challenging to get around, but I had a great time. So I did get some, an answer to the big question I had all day long is where are the people? Why is this so good? Why is it like being in a deserted city? And I was told that it is um, low season. That during the summer, this place fills up, but right now it's empty. I mean, it's really empty. Uh, so, if you love ghost cities to be in, then this is this is the perfect place for you to be. Anyway, I'm happy to move and jump on to a boat tomorrow and experience the bay and leave the deserted city behind. <laughs>